What's good, y'all? Hey, Zo, back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there today. So, in this video, I want to talk about how to know it's time to let go of a friend. I had a subscriber leave me a comment asking me to make this video. I believe your name was Finn. I'm going to call you Finn for short. Appreciate you. I like when y'all leave me comments asking me to make a certain video or let me know something going on in your life because that can always inspire a great video for a content creator like myself. You know what I mean? So, yeah. First sign it's time to let go of a friend is they're separating you from your goals. And this should be obvious, right? This should be obvious, but, you know, a lot of us got long-term friendships, somebody we've been rocking with for a long time, since elementary school, maybe a decade, maybe two decades. And you just think to yourself, like, this my dog, bro. This my day one. I ain't gonna never leave him behind, no matter how broke he is, no matter how non-ambitious he is. I'm gonna take him to the top with me. We're gonna be at the top eating together. Like, me personally, bro, I only want people around me that's striving to be better, leveling up, whether it's financially, physically, spiritually, mentally, something, bro. I want to be motivated by what you're doing with your life. You know what I mean? You don't want to have friends that are doing the same thing every single day. You want people that motivate you, bro. You want people around you that motivate you. Your friends influence you, your energy, your mind, your habits, all those things, you know? So if you see your friend grinding every day, progressing, accomplishing goals, that's going to rub off on you. And if they ain't doing nothing every day, and that's your best friend, guess what you finna be doing? Nothing. You finna be procrastinating just like them. You know what I mean? You gotta be aware about this, bro. I know we got like day ones, people we been rocking with for a long time. But hey, we got goals to achieve. I got goals to achieve. I'm not carrying nobody to the top with me like on a backpack. Like I'm not carrying nobody, bro. You gotta motivate me some days, bro. That should be your mindset. If you got friends that you're hanging out with every day, every other day, every week, they should be motivating you in some way. Some way, bro. They don't got to do it verbally, but just by their actions, you see them hitting the gym, working on their craft, learning something new, just progressing, then that's a good friend. If they ain't got none of that going on, it might be time for you to just, you know what I'm saying, step away from them. That's what I realized, man. So that's the first thing. Also, on top of that, bro, besides the whole making you procrastinate on your goals and dreams, they can also make you doubt yourself. They can make you doubt yourself. If you bring up an idea that you have maybe you want to make a book maybe you want to start drawing and start placing your art online or you got some good idea right i know y'all got good ideas out there you got a good idea and you bring it up to your friend and your fir first thing your friend say is bro you think you could pull that off you know how hard that's gonna be i don't know if you can do that bro like if they just start placing all these doubts in your mind their limiting beliefs about what they can do placing it upon you then that's a sign you should distance yourself from that person, bro. Because the recipe to manifesting your goal and dream is believing in yourself. So if you got somebody around you causing you not to believe in yourself, they're going to hold you back. It's that simple, bro. You need to believe in yourself as much as possible, bro. We already got to overcome our own limiting beliefs. We don't need everybody else projecting their limiting beliefs upon us. I'm getting passionate in this video, y'all. Like, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be aware about this, bro. For real, for real. Limits and beliefs, mindsets are contagious. You want people around you that's encouraging you, saying you can do it. You know what I'm saying? When you're making mistakes or fail, failing, you want somebody's going to say, learn something from it, grow from it. You're going to get it together one day. You're going to figure it out, bro. You know what I'm saying? You want those type of people around you, bro. For real, for real. Now, let's move on, bro. The next sign that it's time to let go of a friend is y'all just don't have fun anymore. Y'all don't have anything in common no more. Y'all just not having fun no more. Y'all know what I be saying, bro. Once you start having fun with it, you're done with it. That's how I knew it was time for me to quit weed. And when I quit weed, like y'all know from my other videos, things I realized after I quit smoking weed. Once I quit weed, I, I quickly found out I didn't have much in common with a lot of people. Friends, family members, cousins, like even certain girls. Like I ain't had much in common with them. You know what I mean? Like. When you grow, bro, because we all growing, but we grow in different directions. If you figure you got to stop doing something, a certain hobby or habit that's just not fun to you no more. And then your friend, the one that you always hang out with doing this hobby or habit. Once you stop doing it, it's like y'all have no connection no more. It's nothing to talk about. The conversation is dull. That's a sign. It's time to move on. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to realize people come and go in your life. 
you know, not just relationships. I know we've all been through breakups and relationships, people coming and going, dating, people coming and going, but friends come and go too, bro. People grow apart, we all growing, and sometimes we grow in different directions. That means you might start finding something else more fun, a better hobby for you, a better habit for you, and something that you and your friends used to always do might not be fun to you anymore. So once y'all start hanging out or linking up again, the conversation might not be what it used to be. Y'all might not be having as much fun no more because y'all don't got a lot of things to talk about. That could be a sign you should let go of that person and keep moving forward, find some new friends or new associates, you know what I'm saying? People you have more things in common with, you know what I mean? You're gonna be happier in the long run. Rather than sitting inside a dog conversation with your old friend, you'll have more fun going out, trying something new, hiking, bowling, golfing, skiing, finding a new friend, finding a new associate, y'all gonna have things to talk about and you're gonna feel the spark in the conversation. You know what I mean? Keep that in mind, y'all. If y'all stop having fun with your friend, it's okay, bro. People grow apart, people come and go. That's one thing we gotta learn to accept as human beings. Things come and go. People come and go, things come and go. That's just something that come with this life, all right? And the third sign you should let go of your friend is if they're causing you to lose your peace of mind. Now, I know we all wanna be good friends when our friends going through things, things at work, relationship problems, family issues, you wanna be there, you know what I'm saying? And that's good, be there for your friend. But if you find that every time y'all hanging out, you feeling drained, you feeling more frustrated, you feeling like their problems are starting to affect your mental health and their problems are starting to become your problems, then that's when you should take a step back. You know, I got certain people around me, family, who I know every time I talk to them, they dumping their problems on me. And I notice it adds clutter to my mind. It causes me to lose clarity, and creativity sometimes, because I'm thinking about their problems, what they got going on, rather than having a clear mind and keeping a high vibration. You know what I mean? Like, you just gotta be aware about this. Ain't nothing wrong with being a good friend, being a good ear for your friend and stuff like that, giving them good advice. But just be aware, like, every time they just dumping garbage on you or problems, my bad, problems on you, you know what I'm saying? Then it might not be worth it no more. You know what I mean? Because you need your energy and a clear mindset to manifest your goals and dreams. How you gonna do that with your friend clutter all in your mind? Causing you to be distracted, causing you to feel sad, causing you to feel mad, like it's your problems, you know what I mean? So just be aware about that, bro. Drake just dropped a song, uh, I don't know what it's called, but I remember in the song he was like, losing friends, but finding peace. So I guess it's a fair trade. And that's exactly what it is, bro. If you losing friends and you find a peace, it's worth it. Even with girls, like I cut a girl off quick if she causing me to lose my peace of mind. She wanna argue, bring negativity, drama to my life. Like I cut her off quick, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that reminds me of the dude that was in my live stream. He was talking about how his friends, they were smoking weed and they was in a junkyard and basically his friends started smashing the cars in. And he knew at that point he had to separate himself. So he got out the situation and he's glad right now because the police came knocking on their door and he's glad that he separated himself. You know what I'm saying? That's an example. Like, people will bring drama and negativity and cause you to lose peace of mind. You know what I mean? So you got to be aware about that, y'all. So that's a few signs to let y'all know it's time to let go of a friend. Let me know your thoughts on this video. Share this video. Subscribe. Let me know some reasons why you cut off your friends in the past or why you let them go. Y'all enjoy your day. Stay blessed out there. Peace out, y'all. The possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever.